On Money Matters this morning, Florida-based grocery chain Publix set to expand, and it's the end of an era for a company that really wants to find the Internet. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. AJ and Verizon's confirming it, a more than a $4.5 billion buyout of Yahoo. Uh, yes, uh, Bruce and Nikki uh, just confirmed about uh, 30 minutes ago or so. So we expected this to be announced today, and in fact it has. So it's a $4.8 billion deal, Verizon buying Yahoo. Now, Yahoo, of course, been struggling uh, for the past decade or so, just having a hard time competing against Google, against Facebook. It was once worth $125 billion. Now it's being sold for less than five. So it's been a really a, a sad story for Yahoo over recent years. What Verizon wants to do with Yahoo is basically take that digital media advertising business, incorporate it with AOL, which Verizon bought not too long ago, and uh, really try to build their digital media business. Jane, you have some numbers for us that say it was a fairly safe spring at Florida's theme parks. Well, yeah, especially when you consider the sheer number of people who visit these parks. So there were 10 serious injuries and illnesses occurred at Walt Disney World rides in the second quarter of this year. Uh, this according to reports filed with the state. Five such incidents were reported at Universal Orlando, one at SeaWorld, Wet n Wild, Busch Gardens, Legoland reported no serious injuries. Now, the reports are part of an agreement that the major theme parks have with the state, which exempts them from public ride safety regulation. I hear the Publix may be opening grocery stores in a new marketplace. Yes, uh, they are broadening their entry into Virginia by purchasing 10 supermarkets there. They are right now Martin's Food Market. So they'll stay Martin's for a while, but will eventually go over to be Publix. Uh, they uh, will uh, be involving some remodeling work as well. And a Publix expansion into Virginia follows its entry into North Carolina, where its first store in that state opened in February of 2014. And finally, Jane, the iPhone 7 expected now to be launched the week of September 12th. Yes, well, the bloggers always are on top of this, and they're pretty close. So <clears throat> Mac Rumors reports the launch of the iPhone 7 uh, will take place the week of September 12th. Of course, Apple's confirmed none of this, which is typically the case. Uh, the New York Post reports that the phone will be nearly indestructible. It's said to have Gorilla Glass. So that's a more resilient <laughs> and sturdier glass than what's been on previous phones. Hopefully no more shattered iPhone screens. I just... Got my 6S Plus fixed. So, um, <laughs> you know, if that's the truth, because it has, it has now the, the Gorilla Glass yeah. coating. Gorilla the truth, Glass. That would be, well, we'll see. That's a good report. Let's put it to the test. If I get a little angrier <laughs> yeah, later today, not. I'll just let's, throw it across let's, the... Let's not. Thank you, Jane. By the way, I can't see what <laughs> the price tag is for the, uh, the new iPhone.